Did you miss me? Carly, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We post videos every single Monday and Friday. Monday we post sit down videos, Friday we post vlogs, and today you're watching a vlog. Now listen, it's been a hot minute since I've been on here. All the YouTube experts tell you, don't tell people you've been gone for so long. You've come, you probably see it. It's been a hot minute. We're back at it again. We're back. I'm excited. I'm pumped. I've taken some time off. I've been doing a lot of things. We'll probably talk a lot about it today, but I want to say what's up. Hello. Happy first vlog back. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. It's currently 1.20 p.m. I'm out here in sunny Los Angeles, California, where I have been living for the past month. And before you ask me, I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of vlog footage from California. But we're starting today. Today we're starting because I actually leave on Thursday. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy the vlog. Let's get into it. Happy Monday. I am just about to make some lunch. Though. Okay, besties, let's chat. If you've been following me on Instagram, you guys know that I have been in LA for the past almost month now, the past 25 days, and it has been incredible. I really came out here with two goals. Two goals. Goal number one, not work. <laughs> Goal number one was to not work. I actually came here to chill and vibe and vacation and just like take some time off of work, especially too because the end of the year and the first like quarter of the year is super busy for content creators and then we go straight into tax season for everyone, which is very stressful. So I was like, okay, April is going to be my month off. It's going to be my month where I just hang out, but Goal number two was to meet some really cool people. As you guys probably know, LA is very like epicenter of influencer entertainment, all of that kind of stuff. So I was like, I wanna go out and I want to meet people. I think that becoming an, becoming an influencer in the pandemic really made it hard for a lot of us to do one of the like, I find the most rewarding parts of our job, which is to network and meet other content creators and meet fans and meet like just people, you know? I'm very extroverted, I like people, I like to hang out and being in the pandemic, obviously helped me in a way where everybody was at home like watching their phones but on the flip side I never got to meet anybody I didn't get to collab I didn't get to like see people my mission out here was to really meet people hang out hang out with people that I've been talking to only on the internet or only like seeing like on FaceTime or stuff like that and I've been having a really good time there are so many of my friends out here I'm actually living in a house with Naomi and Becca I'll put them up on the screen here I'm living in the house with Naomi and Becca it's so much fun I have so many other friends out here and we've just been having such a great time I I've actually met a bunch of really cool people at a bunch of brands that I really like. I went to San Diego over the weekend, met some cool people over there too. It's just been such an incredible experience. I am so, so, so happy to be out here. So much so to the point where I want to come back. Now we've talked about, we've talked about moving to LA before and all of that. And I'm very back and forth on it, but I do want to spend more time out here. My biggest thing is I was just on vacation mode. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm literally on a vacation. I was just on vacation mode, but now I'm ready to go back into grind mode. So my plan for the next like three months once I get home is to really grind all of my workout so that I can do another like vacation, hopefully sometime soon. Like I said though, it's currently like 1.30 ish. I'm taking my break for the day I literally just have I actually woke up very early today I woke up at 6 30 and I got a bunch of stuff done I got a bunch of work done I'm having like a very intense work day so I am taking my break right now I'm gonna chill probably watch like a YouTube video vibe out <laughs> and then after that I have another list of things to do I'll talk to you guys about it kind of when we're like doing more of our to-do list because I uh, don't know it off the top of my head right now and I only have it written down and it's by my computer so that is my plan. I'm gonna eat my burger, watch my show, or like a YouTube video or whatever. And uh, we'll chit chat after I am done and I'll walk you through my to-do list and also kind of like other fun updates in my life so far. Okay, so let's talk to-dos of the day. Currently sitting down at my computer. Let me try to figure this out. I recently got like a new tripod situation. I don't know if this is working out the way I want it to. Anyway, I got a new tripod, but it doesn't really do much. It doesn't have a lot of controls. It literally is just like a tripod. But you know, it is what it is. It's doing its job right now. 
now. <laughs> Both my extra camera batteries are dead, so I'm about to charge these. And I'm actually very excited to sit down and do my summer schedule. And you might be like, what does that even mean, Carly? Like, you are self-employed. And you're right. As we go into the summer, like, basically when I go home, I want to stay outside in the sun as much as humanly possible because in Edmonton, there is not a lot of sun. It is very wintry. And I just would like to be outside, you know what I mean? We outside. I also have on my list to finalize my YouTube schedule, which, I mean, by the time that you see this, I've probably uh, definitely already finalized it. So finalize my YouTube schedule. I have to IG content plan for the next quarter. I have to reshoot some brand new stories. Um, I have to podcast content plan. And then my last hour of the day, I'm doing another admin hour. Oh, which actually reminds me, I need to change my laundry. Being honest, I'm not gonna fold this right now. I probably should, but I'm not going to. On another note, living with people, cause you know, I live at home back at home, but living with people is my first experience living with people. It's been interesting, but pertaining to laundry has been very eye-opening because maybe it's just because I really enjoy doing laundry so I never let things just like sit there. Maybe I'm being wild. Like let me, is that weird? Like I said, I literally only ever like have lived alone. So I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what the vibes are. Let me know. My plan is to really, I'm not like a big, um, I am and I am. <laughs> I am and I'm not. I'm like a big Google Calendar girl. You guys know that if you've watched me like do any of my organized life like videos, you guys know I'm very big on Google Calendar, but something that I do kind of struggle with is like overpopulating my calendar, not doing it like in an efficient way. So I've read like a lot of blogs and I've read a lot of books and stuff like that that you should put like, like you should block off your time, which I agree with. I'm a big time blocker, but like you should block off your time and then like keep it on a Google calendar. So like every day, like you're creating content 12 to one, for example, and that normally works. But like, I also, my life has been picking up more. I've been traveling more and stuff like that. And I find it harder to kind of do that. So I, what I've done is actually just clear everything off of my Google calendar, except for meetings. So like my weekly meeting with my agency is on here, like appointments or reservations. Because besides that, I feel like I look at it and then I just am like, oh yeah, like it's that. I mean, I don't have to do that. I'm actively trying to do that differently. Like I'm actively trying to be a better, uh, like stick to a plan type of person. It's almost 2 p.m., which means by the time it hits two, I am going to get back into the work grind and then literally work until like five. This will be one of my first full work days in uh, in LA for a, a while. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've sat down and actually like worked. Why is my hair wet? Did I get it in my water? Why is it so wet? Why? That's very strange. Today is my first like work work day in a very long time. And when I say work day, I literally just mean like playing around on Notion. <laughs> That's kind of it. But I'm gonna get into that and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later in the day. Good morning, happy Tuesday. It's currently like 7, 10 a.m. around there, something like that. I woke up this morning at 6.30, feeling great. Literally like got up within my alarm. I had one of those sleeps last night actually where you know how you know that your alarm is going off early? You're kind of just like in and out around like the time that you think your alarm is gonna go off. That's like kind of the sleep that I had last night. Not to say that I had a bad sleep. I actually feel very rested. I feel like I had a good sleep, but it was just like ironic that I, <laughs> maybe ironic isn't even the right word, but I essentially woke up and I feel good. <laughs> like I said, it's currently like 7.15 a.m. I know we didn't like catch up last night. I wanted to vlog, but I was in bed and I was like, I can't do it. Last night, I actually had a really good night. I finished all of my work. I read my Kindle. I'm listening to a new audiobook, all of that, but I went on a walk for like 30 minutes, which was fantastic, but through my neighborhood here in LA. And it was amazing. It was very also like lucrative because I was just walking through the neighborhoods and there were so many places that were like renting. And I've never stayed in this part of LA before, but it's so cute and I love it here. So I would love to like eventually find a place out in this area. I have a couple other areas that I really, really like too, but just set out to go on a walk yesterday. I didn't set out to like, you know, house hunt, but it happened anyways and I was like oh that's very cool so did that came home it, like extra moisturized my body read my book passed out at like 9 40 <laughs> I also too yesterday I think for honestly the first time this entire trip drank like three liters of water which was today 
I don't have like a ton going on. I have like another work day. Besides that, I think we might go for tapas later at Bakari and that's like kind of it. I'm like, today's the 26th actually also and I really need to start to figure out my packing situation. Maybe I'll put that on my list today, start packing like small things that I don't think I will need in the next like two days because I leave in two days and that's crazy. Definitely gotta do that. I also have to pack up that box and ship it. I still haven't done that. Of all like the PR stuff that I've been getting while I'm out here because I don't think it's gonna all fit in my suitcase and even if it does, it's probably gonna make it so heavy and then I'm just gonna have to pay for overweight baggage anyways. Actually, that's gonna be like a big one on my list today is the package and starting to pack. But, but I'd say what's up, good morning, happy Tuesday. Let's have a great day. Hello, it's currently like uh, 10.50, almost 11. I have been ripping through work today. I don't know what it is. I woke up, you guys already know, 6.30, yada, yada, yada. Went and I got Starbucks. With, if you follow me on Instagram, you know my go-to lately is an iced green tea latte, sub the cane syrup for brown sugar, and add salted cold foam. I also sometimes do the sweet cream cold foam too. Both are good, but I do like the like sweet, and salty elements. That's like kind of my thing. And it's only 11. I feel like I've been like cooking today. Most of that stuff I'm not even supposed to be done. Actually I am, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm right on time. I also, like I said, have to get packing today. I think maybe that's what I might do right now. I'm kind of having like a, okay, I need to take a step back from my computer moment. So that probably calls for taking down my LA life. This is actually such sad. Another thing too is that there are still things that I like want to wear on my last couple days. So right now I think I'm just gonna pack up things that I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna wear between now and two days from now. So that is the game plan. And then after that, I'm gonna move on to the liquids and the gels and that kind of stuff because that is really going to be the hardest part, I'm pretty sure. It's currently 3.30. My mental is just <coughs> crashing. Not like my like mental health, but my like ability to focus. My plan, like I said, chill in here for like 30 minutes, hang out, just give myself time to just like <coughs> and refocus. I also ate my meal a little bit late. I ordered a poke bowl just from like a place down the street and I ate it a little bit later in my day than I think I would like to. And I find if I eat kind of around like one-ish, I can sustain more of my like ADHD high, but I did not do that. Whenever I have like, I guess every time that I have this type of like crash situation, this is where I'm doing my most like sit on my computer aimless type of work. So I'm kind of the more creative person during the day and I'm more of just like a easy to do task type of person at night. If you guys are interested, I will literally share with you guys all of my productive tips and stuff like that in its own video because when I'm home especially, I have a lot of things that I do that help me to stay focused and stay organized and like ride the high and be very like productive. So if you'd like to see that, leave a comment down below. But I actually finished packing. So this is my like medium sized suitcase, which essentially is fully packed, but they, I still have to put like the rest of my makeup in here, the rest of everything. So that won't be like done until my last, last day here. This is my carry on which has basically all of my shoes some extra things nothing in this side yet because that is going to be like my computer stuff these two boxes which needs to be packed up and shipped and then I need to go actually buy a box to put these in this is a cooler and this is a dress I am honestly kind of stressed about shipping that stuff I was talking to my mom about it and she was like oh you might have to like declare it and you might have to pay customs on it I was like on stuff that I already bought like I don't so I, I don't really know I don't know how that's gonna go but anyway I'm gonna sit here read my Kindle hang out my book actually just got super freaking juicy i'm reading say you swear i literally only read like sexual fa fanfic wet pad rom-com chiclets on my Kindle. And I'm, you know what? I'm not even sorry about it. They're good. They take my mind off of all the other business reading that I do and make me believe in love again. So I'm doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna read my book. We'll catch up later. Good morning, happy Friday. As you can probably see, we are back at it again in YGK headquarters. We are finally back home in 
Canada. I got in last night around 7 p.m. I didn't actually get home until like probably like 8.30 because our plane took forever to deplane and then our bags and then I also had to bring stuff up. Gage picked me up from the airport last night. He also brought my monitor back. Yada yada. Lots of stuff going on. I also ended up moving around my patio furniture which I will show you guys but I want to do a couple things out there and maybe even do like a a patio makeover type of situation video probably not a whole video probably just like a section of a vlog but once I kind of have more of an idea of that but I wanted to say hello what is up happy Wednesday the time is currently 9 30 a.m. and I'm very excited to vlog today because we are having a self-care day all day my plans are literally 10 a.m. I have a lash appointment I'm going to get new lashes put on 1 p.m. I'm going to my hair appointment as you guys probably knew if you watched I guess I probably wouldn't have done it in a YouTube video, but I posted about it on Instagram. I got a Microlink sew-in right before I went to LA, and I got it in curly hair texture. Even though I wear my hair straight all of the time, that was the wrong choice. Um, it ended up tangling and matting and all this. I had to get it taken out in LA. So I talked to my hairstylist about it. She was like, yeah, like I should have known better. I should have like, we should have done it diff this way. We should have done it differently. I was like, okay. So I'm going today to go get that put back into my hair but have it be like the right hair. I really considered waking up and having a coffee but I'm not going to do that because I'm getting my lashes done and having like a stimulant when you get your lashes done is just the worst. Instead I'm going to drink a water, that's it. Get a coffee on the way to my hair appointment. I have to come back here anyways and get in my car because my nail appointment is like literally across the street like I just walk to it. So I have to come back here and get my car so maybe I'll make one on the way to my hair appointment which doesn't really matter as much because my eyes aren't closed and like jittering so I don't know. That's Sounds like the plan. Sounds like the plan. Morning! How's it going? I'm good. Finally back. <laughs> I had so much fun. It was great. Yeah. Back from lashes. Very cute, very fun, very fresh, very exciting. It's currently 12, so it's only been two hours. I'm on the hunt for a band-aid. Anyway, it's 12. I just got back from lashes. I have this nail that I <laughs> I have this nail that I broke yesterday when I was packing and chipping things and whatnot, and it's causing me a lot of trouble. And even though I have a nail appointment today at four, I keep like catching it on things. I'm just scared I'm gonna accidentally pop it off. So I am band-aiding her up. The next thing I have to do is go to my hair appointment at one, but what I'm gonna do right before, I'm just back for a little bit. I'm gonna make a coffee really quick so I can bring it with me to my hair appointment. And then I also need to go get gas. I need to wash my car because I know it's probably dusty as heck because it's literally just been sitting in my parking garage for a month. And then I also need to fill up my tires because they're probably a little bit flat. Be on the way. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so my car is dead. Very fun. Okay, update folks. I'm sorry if it's a little loud in here because we are in the car wash. Uh, anyway, so I'm at the car wash. My landlord, thank that. Thank God for that man. If you've been around for a while, you know all about my landlord. Love him, Wow, chef's kiss. He was at the office today and he was like, yes, I will jumpstart your car. Jump started my car. I'm over here getting a car wash because my car was covered in dust and people like drew things on my car and I was like, I'm not doing this. So currently getting a car wash, texted my hairstylist that I was going to be a little bit late. So going there right after I finished getting my car wash, I was going to fill up my tires. I don't really think they're necessarily too flat. Car wash was number one priority, which we are doing right now. And then we are going over and we are doing a hair appointment, but it's an update. going. It's currently 4 p.m. I am on the way back to my car. Nail appointment's at 4.15. Back at the place where we got our lashes done, but I have to put my car in my garage. So let, I'll, let's chat here when I'm back in my car. Oh, my hair, I love it. I feel like also to you, the, being in the car is not really doing it justice, but it looks fantastic. I'm about to have my final stage of my hot girl glow up, which is the nails. Lost in, in a daze, I caught your sudden gaze and time is started racing. We're back in the house, we have our nails done. I ordered a pizza, but I thought we would sit and chat really quick before I go and pick it up because I also have to change my tattoo. So let's talk about that. Before we get into it, these are the nails. Aren't they cutie girls? I got them like, I got these at New York Fashion Week 
in 2020 in like a different color set, but these are them, little like Bottega Green money nail. This tattoo that I got on my arm, I'll show you guys more in depth once I clean it. It will leave me in nine to 15 months. It's only like a, t like not temporary, but like it's made to fade, which I thought was so cool. It is, uh, the little bandage has pulled off a lot of my fake tan, but this is her. She's so cute. Once I'm done drying it, I'll actually give you a better look, but it says the word random. I got it from the song Random by G-Eazy, all about essentially how like this shit isn't random, you put hard work in, you get good results out, like that kind of thing. So this is what it looks like. Obviously this is upside down because it's supposed to be red like this way, right? This is what it looks like. I got it in this old English outline script. I think it's so cute. It obviously is, is my skin is a little bit like wiling underneath it because it's had the patch on it. I'm gonna let it chill for like an hour and then put some vata cream and the patch back on it, but it's cool. They did have me in for an influencer thing, so shout out to, I can't pronounce it properly, but shout out to Pharrell. because <laughs> it's cool and I love it. But anyway, let's go get this pizza. Hello, happy Saturday. It's currently 12.06 p.m. I realized last night we didn't catch up after I went to my massage. Honestly, it was fantastic. I went, got a massage, I came home. I honestly might make a set or a, a deconstructed salad right now situation because I'm going for lunch with my friends. I've been back for like a day, so I'm finally like seeing everybody. I'm going for lunch with my friends, but not until one. And we're doing like a day drunk type of vibe. Um, so I probably should eat something because all I've had today is like my protein coffee, which I will show you guys in my what I eat in a week video. I think I need to eat something here and then I'll have something there and then drink. I literally made the salad and I started eating it before I could show you. This is what she looks like. Very good. Also, this backlighting is not great for vlogging, but it's great to check before I leave. But I put this mirror up this morning. Um, you can see I tried a couple times. I actually found out there's this vertical stud here and I just happened to pick this placement in the wall, but there is a stud there. So I didn't want to, all of my studs are metal. It's so annoying, whatever. But I just hung it just slightly lower. And I have this mirror here, which I think is cute. But like I said, not great for vlogging and backlighting, but really good at opening up my room in this living room. And it's cute. Look how cute that is. Anyway, Let's go for drinks. I don't know if like getting drunk is like in my spirit today. Yeah, but I'm you gonna being the one. I know. Last night. Our group chat. Last like, night. I know. We're getting lit all day, day drunk. Listen, I am I'm trying to make my body red here. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Did you miss me? Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, I'm like I'm taking a photo. photo. I'm like <laughs> trying to pose. My stomach hurts. The table's going through hell, I would say. Basically, just our conversation. You want chicken? <laughs> Hello. Happy Sunday. It's currently 1.29, so 1.30 p.m. And I have been up since like nine-ish and I have just been go, go, going the entire day. I woke up, I put this cute little set on. It's from Aerie and I have just been doing things. I unpacked all of the PR that I got while I was gone, took it to the recycling. I have been doing dishes, cooked a breakfast, which was so, so, so good. It was just like some yogurt and some toasted oatmeal and stuff like that. We talked about this yesterday. Delicious, I had like a bombshell coffee. I'm kind of hungry right now though, actually. I think I'm going to make my like lunch salad right after <laughs> we are done here, but I thought I would give you an update. So currently I'm doing laundry. Um, I wanted to actually let me go into my room. Let me show you what I'm about to talk about Something else I also did was organize this and like throw out everything that was old or I wasn't gonna use anymore This whole bottom one is PR stuff that I just got that I haven't opened and this is stuff that I like use And most of this is like masks and sheet masks and stuff like that and some body care and this is all face face care and hair care. So I organized this, threw out a bunch of stuff, kept a bunch of stuff. I probably will be giving a lot of this to like my concierge, my friends and family, but we'll come back to her. This is what we need to talk about, okay? <laughs> this is what we need to talk about. So, okay, now here's the thing. I had it on my list to do this today, to like organize it, to like do a bunch of things with it. And I really had good intentions and I started doing it and I was like, you know what? What I really need to do is very similar, I guess, to what I did with the makeup and hair station is I really need to purge and I decided that that's not something that I can do in one day because it definitely is not especially because it was wasn't even like my mindset until I like, looked at it and I was like oh I need to do something about this because it will take me a long time and I need to be like pretty intentional with it so I've decided that that will be a this week project it's to go through things go through all the cubes here in my closet and do like a purge and also switch over from my winter stuff to my summer stuff because now it's finally starting to get warm and I need to like put my winter 
bunch of clothes into storage and switch everything over and that just simply wasn't a one day task and so I've decided I'm just gonna leave that it's kind of an eyesore I'm kind of annoyed by it but I'm going to leave it something else that I actually tried to do was put up some shelves in my bathroom and listen you know me I can put up a shelf I can put up like a bunch of things I put up a mirror yesterday not hard it's not like it's hard but here's the thing I've spackled some holes in here because this wall is full of shit. So both of these, this one here, this one here are studs. There's metal studs in my apartment. My apartment is made out of metal studs. So that's already problematic because there's so much harder to screw into. I was like, okay, I'll screw outside of the stud. I'll just put a drywall plug in, whatever, no big deal. I go to do that and I find out behind here, it's cement. Most of my walls aren't cement. So this wall is cement. Yesterday I learned that I had a vertical stud hanging my mirror. So I was like, maybe it was just a vertical stud. So then I tried down here and then I tried next to it. And also too, like I do have a, a stud finder that also does like deep scans, which does like electrical and pipe and stuff like that. So then I found out there's also like a shit ton of pipe and electrical all up in here and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. But not before. I tried it over here and was immediately also met by a cement freaking wall. So long story short, I'm definitely going to hire someone to come and put those up and I think that I'm also while I'm at it and I'm like have them for whatever the hour, I think you pay them by the hour but it won't take them that long to put up two freaking shelves, is get them to put up these ones in here. So I was yesterday doing doing some planning about putting some shelves up in here so I could organize this stuff and like have it up here. One here and I actually think I'm probably gonna bring this one down just a little bit and then do a second one. So I was like, okay, well maybe I'll get them to do those as well. And I think I'm also gonna do one over there. That is kind of my plan. For the rest of the day, my plan is to make lunch and then continue on with laundry. I have to fold some stuff. There was like a bunch of laundry that just sat in my dryer while I was gone for like a month. It's clean, it was just a little wrinkly. So I had to run it through the dryer again. So gotta do that, gotta pick that out got to switch over. I'm also washing my sheets and then tonight, like later tonight, I'm gonna have like a good hot girl shower. I have not had a shower today because I knew I wanted to have like a luxurious one later, like where I shave and do all that. So that's my plan for the day. It still looks honestly kind of messy in here, but it's a lot better than I think when I woke up and that's all I can ask for. Hello, bonjour, my phone just fell on the floor. <laughs> the time is currently 7.20 and I am finally sitting down for the day. I've been watching Selling Sunset, the new season. The, I'm on episode five and uh, it's been very good. I'm obsessed with Chelsea. I love her. I also do, I just always think the black girls, they eat more than anyone else. I wish that she had more going on. Um, I guess I'm only on episode five, so we'll see. But like, I wish she had, I wish we saw more Chelsea. And I wish we saw more Chelsea individually. I wish we saw more single Chelsea and less Chelsea and Christine. I just feel like we've seen them both together this whole time. I want, I want just Chelsea, you know? So anyway, give me your Selling Sunset takes. I'm not done yet. I probably honestly will finish it tomorrow, but if you have some takes, let me know. That being said, like I said, it's like 7.30ish. I'm probably honestly going to pop a melatonin in half an hour and then start to wind down for bed. I will be popping that melatonin to regulate my sleep schedule, which actually I've recently learned that that's what melatonin is for. It's not necessarily to help you fall asleep. It like obviously helps with that, but it's more for your circadian rhythm resetting. So I will be using that today to reset my circadian rhythm. That being said though, it is Sunday, which means it's taking us to the end of the vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I post videos every single Monday and Friday. Monday we just sit down, Friday we do vlogs. Obviously you're watching a vlog, so if you would like to hang out with me every single week, twice a week, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. I love you guys so much. I will see you in Monday's video. Place, dispatch your phone.